All right, we are going to go over how to make the About page and Services page sub-navigation like so. Um, you see the secondary navigation about typography columns, lightbox examples. Um, we're just going to go over how to make this. Um, all right, this is just a live preview right now. Um, so I'm just going to go into a demo and show you how to do that from scratch. So everything's going to be built under pages and all we're going to do the first step is just create um, the first page and um, this first page we'll just start by calling it about um, just to keep things simple so we can keep track of everything this will basically be the first page the lead page so to speak and um, content and all we need to do is publish it and the first page in the set of navigation um, there's nothing really too fancy um, that we need to do I'm going to go ahead and open this in another tab so we can kind of go back and forth and see what's going on alright now from here um, this is basically how the navigation is going to get created by creating excuse me, the other pages in the navigation so we're going to add another page and um, let's call this one columns just like you know our live preview and I'm just typing in anything so we kinda get some filler and I'll publish this page and right now it's just a regular page that we published but to create that secondary set of navigation this is the key is we're gonna go under page attributes and under parent we're gonna set the about page as the parent and once we do that and click update now columns and about are basically going to be attached to each other and um, if I go to the live live site I can refresh it and now we get our two sets of navigation under there columns and about and they work and I'm going to go ahead and add another page just so that we get another feel for it and call this one Lightbox Examples. And then we're going to go to the page attributes again and set About as the parent. And each page we add, it's going to have the same parent. We're going to publish it, go back, refresh, and now we have Lightbox at the end and everything's going to be working like a charm now let's say we want to change the order so changing the order is pretty simple this is done under order so let's say lightbox order we want that one to be uh, the, the second one so we'll put that as order 2 update that let's go to columns and make columns menu order number 3 and then we'll update that. And then we'll go back and columns and lightbox will have switched places, like so. And so it's really easy. That's how you control the menu order um, in regards to this. Now that's how you do that navigation. Now to create the actual services example, which is um, has the uh, little excuse me, the um, little thumbnail things at the bottom <laughs> do a really bad job of describing it, I'll just show you you know what I'm talking about um, we can actually take this exact example and there's only one additional step and that is with the parent page so we're going to go to the parent page, about and now on the parent page we go and we change this to the slider content and this is the last step that we do and once we move it to slider content we can refresh it and it now becomes these little tabs and that first page will disappear basically um, because we're using these tabs and there's no longer pages and these pa each page becomes a new tab as you can see and the menu order is the same way controlled the same way